guys, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm We Rock and Eric Socks Off, and in this part we're going to go ahead and try, or not try, we're going to go ahead and talk to the Princess of the Great Deku Tree we're talking about, the Princess of Destiny. So let's go ahead and get this started. So you may remember this, like, little country girl that was in, um... Hyrule Castle Town Market in the last part, and sorry for the long, long, long hiatus for um, Ocarina of Time parts. I'll explain that in a little bit. So, hey, your clothes—they're—they're they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Long Long Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Oh, okay, and I think what you want to go ahead and do is talk to him. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee. Oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. It I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Tee hee. And with that, we get the weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. Well, oh really? No, 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 no. Like this, this egg was really at a grocery store. And you know, I mean, uh, well, I don't know. I don't think eggs. No, 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 eggs can't hatch. <laughs> what? Or my stupid eggs can't hatch when they're already at the grocery store. That I don't know what that exactly they do. But with that, we actually go ahead and get the weird egg. And you guys will probably realize it for, uh, in a second why we're actually going to be needing that um a uh, weird egg in a second. So right here, we're going to have to go ahead and go to Hyrule Castle. Now, you probably noticed there's a bunch of guards around that you may have seen in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Now, they were perfectly fine earlier because, I mean, well, I mean, that's the places where you're supposed to be. But around here, you can't be seen by the Hyrule um, uh, guards around here because if they do, they think you're going to go ahead and assassinate the king and you're going to say, Six Semper Tyrannus! If you get that, you're cool. But I don't know, that's what John Wilkes Booth said after he killed Abraham Lincoln. Oh my gosh, I am such a history nerd. But, um... And they'll think, like, oh my gosh, you're going to kill the royal family. Holy crap, you're just you're gonna... You're a terrorist. Like, I mean, this little 11-year-old boy... But, I mean, like, think about it, though. I mean, if a little 11-year-old boy is running around with a sword... Like, a really sworded shield, like a lethal weapon like that at the time... Then, you, then um... I guess I understand why they would uh, go ahead and catch Link now. You may notice right here, this is Talon's dad. So, if you go ahead and talk to him now, he's like... Zzz. Mumble, mumble. Welcome, our ranger so fun. Come on, look around. Well... We can't actually, this is going to be the reason why we're going to be needing the weird egg. What the weird egg is going to go ahead and do is after um, it is daytime, it's going to go ahead and hatch. So since it's going to be a little bit before it's going to be daytime, and I don't really want to talk about random crap until it's daytime, I'm going to go ahead and cut until it's daytime. Spinning round in circles. Okay, it is night, or not night, it is daytime. And now, as you can see by there, the egg went ahead and hatched. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now is get our chicken right here. And you want to go ahead and Z target him. And then go ahead and, um, well, L target since we're using the GameCube version. And then he'll wake up. So, what in tarnation? Can a person get a little shot eye around here? Well, I, I kind of went ahead on that. I just memorized those lines for like as much of our already as, as I'm done this. But hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Long Long Range. I wanted to get a deal with some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malon was looking for me. I'm gonna get you from her now. I missed up bad. Leave it up, Malon, behind the way for me. She's really gonna let me have it. And then he's gonna run away like crazy when I was um. Three when I first played this game, me and my cousin was like, oh, and now he's going to go ahead and get killed by the guards. Well, not really killed, but just caught by the guards, which is really weird because we couldn't really read at the time because, I mean, we're three years old and he's four. Well, I don't know, but th that cousin, because I had two cousins, they were like, um... Uh, brothers, and, uh, I mean, like, the older sibling was seven, so I don't really get why he, what he didn't get, but I mean, I mean, when I was seven, I didn't really read the game text that much because, um... Usually what I did when I was younger, and this is kind of a stu little stupid, but um, when I was younger, when I first started playing this, well, not first started playing this game, when I actually first got this game, when I was around, I'd say around, not around, maybe a year after I got this game, when I wanted to actually progress a little bit, instead of letting a babysitter um do this game for me, like, I would have my mom help me out in this game, and she would usually, like, read that stuff for me, and I usually get what's going on, but I mean, like, we must be really stupid if we thought, like, he would get caught by the guards, because he's, like, the milkman, so he wouldn't get caught by the guards because he's actually here for a reason and we're a little kid with a sword and shield for no really well we're here to talk to the princess and they're like saying oh little kid you're stupid but right here you're gonna have to sneak around guards 
Metal Gear style, so Otacon, what is the status on these guards? Well, Snake, what you're gonna have to do is go around these guards in such way, and what? How'd he, how'd he catch me? I've never got, I haven't gotten caught by a guard in this area. I'd say, uh, let me count, nine years, nine years, and you guys just saw it right there, folks. You guys just saw me get caught by the guards. For the first time in nine years, maybe I just shouldn't really go ahead and try Metal Gear style. Oh, what the heck? I'm still gonna do that, but it kind of ruined my joke and the flow of it now, because I, because what I was gonna go ahead and try to do was like uh, try to talk like Solid Snake the entire time, but I don't really think it's necessary now because I got caught, and that's not Metal Gear like I guess. Okay, don't get caught by him. Don't get cocky, man. I'm getting really, really um. Not really cocky, but like, don't. I'm getting all careless on this because you don't really want to be careless because the guards right here really don't really have any good vil, vil, vi, village vision. And uh, what you can do for this guard right here because he kind of takes a while to get around a circle right here. You can actually go ahead and go onto this little building like structure right here and go ahead and uh, like run around, run on top of this. But and don't and make sure you don't oh, like that. But luckily we didn't fall down. And uh, make sure you don't actually um jump like make sure your control stick is st um straight on that or you're gonna like um or like straight in the original direction you started walking it in because like if, if you don't you're gonna get jumped down there and you're gonna get caught by him trust me there's been many many times where that has happened to me now what we're gonna go ahead and do right here is now this is kind of considered probably the hardest like part where um the guard like you have to get past the guards but you know if you kind of go past this this guy right here it's it's pretty much okay and overall this little section really isn't hard but when it was it was pretty hard for like a three-year-old when he's playing this game he's like oh where is he looking i don't know i don't know i don't know it's just something like that but all right so what we're gonna have to go to go ahead and do right this one's a little i mean i guess what i could do is like let me try i'm, I'm gonna be a little careless here okay oh crap 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 not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I probably should have done that a little bit earlier so I could get around that guard, but it didn't really seem like it was the best of decisions. I'm just going to go ahead and creep behind this guard right here. Okay, come on. Go to the right. Go to the right, man. Go to the right, man. It's okay, man. Go to the right. Okay, good. And we're in, and that's a weird little anime. Well, you can't really see it now, but that was a really bad um a render of like a like a Roman statue or something and there she is over there but before we want to go ahead and go over here there's a little bit of Easter egg that most people know if you played this game is that there's Mario characters over here so you can see Yoshi um, let me try to get a better view of this um, you can see Peach right there you can see Mario with his wing cap and then you see Bowser so it's a and Luigi over there so it's a little cool Easter egg that they put in here and they usually put like Miyamoto kind of looks like putting um references to his uh, other game series especially in Zelda like and actually a fun little fact Talon is actually based off of Mario which is based off of Terran from Link's Awakening but enough of that let's see who this little princess is so let's go ahead and talk to her and I'm actually gonna be serious from because it's a kind of significant moment who who are you how did you get past the guards oh what's that is that a fairy? Then, are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Why, yes I do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were bill billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding into a green holding a green and shining stone followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Oh, okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secrets the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No, I won't. I'm going to tell everybody in the world cuz I'm in, I'm telling the Yaosh community right now about your entire Okay, c come on, don't be a blabbermouth. Okay, I'll just lie to you and say I'll keep this a secret. So, you guys just just be sure to keep this a secret. 
The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil, that is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? I'm pretty sure you want to click yes. If you click no, she will explain the entire story all over again. So don't try to be funny this time. So that's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe, they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes, I will. I mean, why as well? I mean, I'm going to be a creeper like you. So let's see who, who the heck is there. Maybe someone's naked in there. Okay, that's just gross. I don't know why I said that. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudus. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now we are the only ones who can protect the Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you! You are a crazy lady! If your father doesn't believe you, you're just having crazy dreams. Please believe me, my prophecies have never been wrong. How many prophecies have you had, woman? Please? Okay, fine, I believe you, I believe you. Thank you! I, I am afraid, I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Gendorf get the Triforce. I, w I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. And with that, we will be getting Zelda's lover. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. And okay, okay, Link, I can tell you, you probably loved going around Disney World and getting all the mascots autographs. Uh, I, I liked doing that when I was younger. And it seems like we are down. We're, we're not down. We're done talking to her. And one thing I would like to say, why her boobs so big when she's supposed to be nine? Okay, that's just about some something I, I just wanted to comment over. And oh, who's this lady over here? She has pointy boobs for that matter. Okay, why am I talking about boobs? I am Impa of the Sheoks. Or the Sheikas, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I used to pronounce it Sheoks for some reason. Sheikas. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. This is my mysterious power in these notes. Oh, there is mysterious powers in these notes. Now listen carefully.
learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. <clears throat> at the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some one of the villagers there before you go up on Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only real family members are allowed to learn the song. Remember, it will help you to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. So after that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll be making our way towards Death Mountain to figure out, uh, or get the Spiritual Stone of Fire and do a couple of things a little bit along the way. Hint, hint, hint what I'm looking at right now, if you can't guess already. So, I will see you guys then. Mm -hmm.